There's been a discussion this week over the opposition leader Tony Abbott declaring that the Liberal Party in its how to vote cards will be putting the Greens below the Labor Party, so in other words giving their preferences to Labor over the Greens. That'll only affect one seat in Australia, that's the seat of Melbourne where Adam Bant is in the Parliament on Liberal preferences from the last poll but the question now is whether his vote will be high enough to get him in again over the Labor Party. But this is a nonsensical debate. You've heard it during the week, oh, we're preferencing the Greens last, the other party should do the same. It's absolute garbage, and I'll tell you why. Because you decide where your preferences go. There should be a requirement on how to vote cards at the top of it to make it very, very clear. This is how you vote Liberal. You put one next to the candidate that represents the Liberal Party, this is how we'd like you to distribute your preferences, but your preferences should be made very clear. Your preferences can be distributed any way you want them to be distributed. And there are a lot of people who see a how to vote card and are misled into believing that the way to vote for the Liberal or the Labor Party is you've got to fill the numbers out exactly as it is on the card. And that is wrong. That's why we shouldn't have how to vote cards. At, at polling booths because the ballot papers have the names of the party on them. But there's another scandal involved with this and both major parties should be absolutely ashamed of themselves because they are treating the public like mugs and it's a scandal on our democracy. At the federal level we have compulsory preferential voting. So if you want to vote for an independent or vote for a Green and you don't want to give your preference to either of the major parties you are required to do so because you have to number every square. So it means if, for instance, you like Joe Bloggs, who might be your local mayor and you want to give him your vote, and you don't like the Liberal or Labor candidates, ultimately, because you have to number every square, one of the major parties will get the numbers that go to the, the local independent, unless that independent happens to get elected. At the state level, it's a much fairer system. If you want to vote Green or Liberal or Labor, you don't have to distribute your preferences at all. Now, the reason that hasn't been changed at the federal level is it means, and this benefits the Labor Party more than the Liberal Party, it means that, say, when the Greens get up to 10% of the vote, their preferences have to go somewhere to be valid votes to one of the major parties in all seats but the seat of Melbourne and that means that Labor does benefit. It's an absolute scandal that we have a system of preferential voting which I think gives us the capacity to say more with our vote than it does in many other countries. We can say this is who we want but if they're not elected I'd like to see this person represent me ahead of that person. You can say that with your vote but you shouldn't be forced to say that with your vote and it should be made very, very clear to people that the parties, when they decide how to number the squares on the how to vote card, you can number it any way you like. You can preference the Greens ahead of Labor, Labor ahead of the Greens, the Liberals ahead of whoever. You shouldn't be following that party ticket and that should be made very, very clear to people. The parties rely on people, a proportion of them, not knowing enough about the system and simply slavishly filling out the form and that's wrong.